what's up so it has been a minute since i filmed a fashion video which i feel like i said during the last fashion video but i've just been really vloggy lately i've been uploading a lot of vlogs i feel like right now my audience on youtube really prefers like fashion videos and san francisco vlogs like those seem to be the two types of videos that you guys like the most let me know if i'm wrong i mean always the comments are open guys comments are open for your suggestions to tell me what you want to actually see from me but i'm pretty sure everybody likes a haul so we're doing a haul today i have a bunch of stuff that i got from urban outfitters the original intention for this haul was to get work clothes so i just wanted stuff that wasn't so cropped like less cutouts maybe like less tank tops things that i just felt comfortable wearing like to the office but uh this was one of my purchases <laughs> I did not really follow through with that intention, but we did get a lot of cute stuff. So work clothes, probably gonna have to wait, but cute clothes, we got them. We got a lot. So I'm excited to show you guys. I also have two pairs of shoes, two pairs of boots that I got that are so cute. So it's a good haul. I am very excited about all the pieces. So let's just get into it. Okay, so like I said, this top that I'm wearing right now is one of the pieces from the haul. So we can start with this, but I think this is such a cute sweater. It's black it's ribbed it's a little bit on the tighter side it has this cutout on the front and then it twists in the front and I think it's a very flattering shape it has a pretty high straight across neckline so if you want to wear it reverse it's pretty conservative or you can wear it the way that I'm wearing it right now and show a little bit more skin so I like that it's very versatile the only thing is I will say it bunches around the elbows a little weird I don't really mind it enough to return it but it is just something I don't like about the sweater so it's something to note but other than that I really like it I've been really liking cutouts because I feel like they make your top just look a little bit more visually interesting so this is just like a basic kind of like black sweater or could have been but then you add the twist you add the cutout and it's a little different so I really really like this one I'm considering just showing you guys the shoes right now because otherwise they're gonna be at the end of the haul after all the clothes to get to the shoes and why would we wait for the end when we could do them right now so let's just do them okay first I have this pair these are just some chunky black booties and the real cooker here no pun intended is that they were seven dollars like seven dollars I I really think that Urban Outfitters was like over, like overproduced these or something because they were legitimately on sale for seven dollars. So I jumped on these. I really like how everyday they are because a lot of my booties I feel like look a bit more formal, like either because of the heel height or like the toe. I have like some that are a bit more of a pointed toe, and I always feel like that looks a bit more formal. These are just round toed boots they're a little bit chunkier which i don't usually go for but i actually really like and they're super comfortable and like i said again seven dollar booties are you kidding me they're super good quality too like on par with any other quality from urban that i've gotten for shoes so they definitely were just like over like they had too many of them i'm pretty sure there's no other explanation for why they would be selling them for seven dollars i was so happy about these it's like definitely like the deal of the day the deal of the haul so these ones seven dollars very versatile everyday boots i love them okay now while those were great i have a better pair so i'm glad those ones were seven dollars because these ones were not seven dollars these ones were like 130 um i have been looking for a pair of knee-high black boots that weren't too high that would fit my calf right that were round toed because square toed is really in right now and while i do like it on other people i do not like it on myself uh so i was struggling to find like a somewhat affordable pair i did find one pair that was like 300 dollars and couldn't bring myself to buy but then i found these on urban outfitters and it's funny because these are from their uk site so i had to go on their uk site to purchase them they took a little bit longer to come because they're coming from london uh which makes me feel very fancy by the way but okay i'm gonna shut up i'll show you they're so cute they're so cute i'm so happy about them i feel like i mean i 
to be honest, I don't wear a lot of skirts and dresses, but for these shoes, I will start. Like on a daily basis, I know it's more for like a kind of occasion or I really want to look cute that I'm gonna wear a skirt or a dress. Uh, so I will definitely be wearing more skirts and dresses to wear these shoes. I'm very excited about them. I just feel like they're they're just they're everything I wanted. They're perfect. They're a round toe. It's like a little square a little bit but not like a square toed boot which is what I've been seeing a lot that's just like what's popular right now it goes up the perfect height on my calf like not like hitting the mid like the middle of my knee so when you bend it it's uncomfortable nothing like that and the heel is not too high I would say this is like two inches two and a half inches max three inches I'm not totally sure but like it's not too high it's like a pretty good height for the shoes um, and they're super comfortable I was kind of concerned because they only had like full sizes i'm an eight and a half so a lot of, like these i got an eight um and i knew that that would be fine because i've gotten other urban shoes before but these ones i was like is it different because they're coming from london i wasn't sure i'm just very excited i just i've been loving the knee-high boots i've been loving it so i'm very excited to have a pair of my own and if this was 130 and these ones were seven so it was like 140 so so it's like I spent 70 on each <laughs> in my head that's how it works so $70 boots $70 boots I'm fine with that let's just continue on with tops since I already did this one so the first one I have here is this kind of like blue vest top it's knitted it's like a very soft knit too very comfy as these buttons going down along the front and honestly it gave me like uh, Maddie Perez vibes from euphoria just specifically the shirt that she was wearing when can I do a spoiler uh, how do I say this without it being a spoiler? Uh, okay, when Rue showed up at Maddie's birthday, that scene. That scene, she was wearing a blue top that looked similar to this, and that's the vibes that this gave me. I don't have a ton of color in my wardrobe. As you guys know, I really do like my neutrals, and I had considered getting this in a cream, but I decided to go for the blue, and I'm glad I did. I really do like the color. I think it's really pretty and just different than the entire rest of my wardrobe. I also really like the vest style. I don't know why I've been really liking those lately. I think they're definitely in because I've been seeing them a lot, but it's like not a full-on tank top, just like, sleeveless kind of you know it's it's a little bit more conservative i guess i like it okay next i have this orange tank top that i think is really cute it is it's not what is this like it's uh pleated it's pleated not silky but like that kind of vibe material it's a little bit reflective it's this really pretty like burnt orange color that i love and it has like a twist on the front as well it has like really dainty little straps i just think it's really cute and i really like the color of it it's also like a very flattering fit i feel like anything with kind of like a twist on the front usually looks good on my body personally so i do really like this it's just like a small little crop top so it definitely not a uh, part of our let's buy some things for work Brie like no this is not for work but it is very cute so I'm very excited about it okay this one is one that I'm returning which I'm sad about because I did think it was gonna be really cute I've been really liking like an open neckline I just think it highlights your collarbones really nicely I think it's really pretty and this one was one that I thought was gonna be really cute but it just fits weird like in the chest I don't know what is up with it because like I put it on on and I just feel like there's like a weird like I don't know if it's because my boobs aren't like that full at the top like they're not like they're more <laughs> I feel like I don't really need to go into this detail but they just I don't know they're just not for my chest type I guess possibly um, I just feel like maybe somebody with more like round boobs at the top could fill this out better but i just feel like like your average your average boob is not gonna fit into this very well they're just like it's an awkward kind of little flap of fabric at the very top like around the neckline and it just ruins the whole top for me honestly like i just know that i'm not going to reach for this because of that little flap of fabric which is a shame because other than that it is really cute i love the color i really like the sleeves it has like this like slit in the sleeves i think is really cute and like i said open neckline 
kind we love them they're just very flattering so yeah this had a lot of potential it just fits kind of weird so i am going to be returning this one okay so next i got this black kind of silky tank top it's not silk it's not but it's like again the same vibe i feel like i really need to like brush up on my different types of fabrics because when i do hauls i'm like i don't know it's like this like soft suede thing and i don't know what i'm talking about but it is it reminds me of silk um it's just like very like uh shiny like i'm gonna stop trying it's a nice material <laughs> i got it it is this black tank top it has like some ruching in the back so it's like very nice very stretchy it has very cute little uh straps i really like that it's a little tie situation i think that's very fun but i really like it i feel like a lot of the black tank tops i have are very just like normal black tank tops and i wanted something that had a little bit more to it and i think this is perfect i really like the fabric i really like the fit of it and i like the little bows on the sleeve Leaves. I think that's really cute. So it is like a black tank top, but it's just a little bit less of a basic and a little bit more of a statement piece. Now that I'm looking at it, I don't know if this is ruching. I'm not, as I've just said, I do not know uh, what I'm talking about. So I don't know if this is ruching, but it is a stretchy material in the back that makes it really comfy. Um, let me know. If you know what this is, let me know. Leave it in the comments. All right, but lastly for tops, I got more color. I'm actually looking at this, and while these are not like the brightest colors available, there is a lot more color in this than in my hauls normally so i think i was just really feeling the colors this time but it is this long sleeve kind of like it's like a like a teal i would say it's a teal long sleeve rib top i really like the neckline of this i thought it was really pretty again open neckline very flattering on the collarbones i just think looks good on everyone honestly um it's a bit more of a square neckline and it is ribbed which i always like i just think it adds a bit more visual detail um, and it's very comfortable. It's like a very soft material. It's a good crop. It's a hits you at a good point I will say I had to get this in a large usually I'm a medium But I read in the reviews that I should size up and they were right So keep that in mind if you do want to get this to size up a little bit, but the large fits perfectly I think it's really cute. I think it fits me very nicely and it's definitely an everyday top like I did wear this to work So we got one. I wore this one to work uh, just very nice. I like the color a lot. Okay, so if the angle is completely different, it's because somebody knocked over my camera. Okay, but that's all for tops. We're on bottoms now. So I have this pair that I am going to be returning, which is sad because I really wanted to have these fit. They're these corduroy, like beige, very comfy, stretchy pants, and they're like wide leg, and I was excited about these. I thought they were gonna be very versatile, very like comfy when I don't feel like wearing jeans, and I still wanna look cute, and I basically had gone by the reviews, and they had said that they were like way too tight in like the hip area. I do have like wider set hips, so I thought, okay, let me get a large. Yeah, this is a large, and I usually get a medium and they were just way too big on me i'm questioning if even the medium would have fit me i don't think so but yeah this was a shame i think they would have been really cute had they fit and would have gone with a lot of my outfits but they did not work out so i'm going to be returning these this next pair however did fit and are everything that i wanted i got this pair of orange pants they're stretchy at the top they're kind of like fit and flare they're pretty flared i would say it doesn't like look too dramatic when i'm wearing them but it looks very flared here um these are everything i wanted i have been wanting a pair of orange pants i saw specifically a picture of tess christine who is like one of my biggest style and spos and has been for years and she was wearing pants like this hers are from backyard roses that's her clothing line and i do like backyard roses but they were a little uh cropped like they were almost i don't want to say they were cool out they weren't that short but they did cut off at around the ankle and that wasn't totally the look i wanted to go for i wanted something that was more full length and i found these on urban that like look very similar and they're also full length so this is exactly what i was looking for and on top of it they fit me so well they're so comfortable and i just think they're really cute they were advertised as brown but this is very clearly an orange to me like a burnt orange and if we're remembering this guy like this top pause pause this top with this 
pair of pants like do the this looks like a set this looks like it was supposed to come together this combo right here i'm very excited about this combo i just think it's gonna be really cute but that was not on purpose i just got lucky they fit perfectly together uh so yeah those pair of pants just i've already worn them i love them i think they're so great i'm very happy about these because i've been wanting a pair like this ever since i saw that picture from tess christine but i just didn't think the like cropped ankle thing was gonna be good for me so these were perfect okay and the last bottom and also just like the last thing of the haul are these pair of shorts i really like these i've been wanting a different pair than like just like denim cutoffs i do have like a couple like flowy brandy-esque shorts and those are very comfortable but i feel like i wanted something that was a bit more structured and still comfy these are perfect they're like this khaki color they have a cuff at the bottom i want to say they're like almost like paper bag shorts but they're not like they don't have the waistband of paper bag shorts but they have the general fit of them so I feel like this is gonna be really good for when it starts getting a little bit warmer which already has which I'm very happy about so yeah I'm very excited about these pair of shorts I have bought these before in a cream color and I really like the fit but those ones they had the sensor still attached so I ended up just returning them and I wanted the cream again this time around but they were also down my size so I got the khaki instead and these are also cute but i am looking forward to getting the cream ones because i just feel like they're gonna go with a few more outfits so that's everything for the haul like i said did not achieve our goal of getting work clothes necessarily but i did get a lot of cute things and i got seven dollar boots so i feel like very successful purchase i really do love urban i think they just always have something that i like like if i want to go and find something for sure at a store i can go to urban and they will have something and this time they had many somethings so a good haul but i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to leave me a like and a comment to let me know subscribe and hit the post notification bell if you haven't yet but we're all having a great day and i'll talk to you in my next video